So we're here with one of the veterans at EBI. What's changed or has there anything changed from your training method post experience from EBI too? Um, I mean, absolutely. I'm, I'm focusing on different things in my game always. I'm always trying to evolve. Um, but uh, honestly, you know, I really don't change many things up as far as how I train because to me it's a, it's a lifestyle. I need to be ready to fight any day, so I can't just step up and, or, or say, oh, I'm going to start training for this upcoming event. I'm just, Javi Vasquez. Ha, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's kind of a guy I look up to, and that, that idea of just always being ready to go. So Now, take us through that overtime period right there. Um, before, be, before actually going through the process, is, is it an issue, since it's a lot heavier fighters in, at this point, that it's an issue of gassing, do you think? I, honestly, I don't feel like my gas got me. Um, I walk around about 167, so I'm a really small 170 pounder. Um, you know, I've always competed at 170 because I don't like cutting weight, but uh, like EBI 2, I was 155, and that was a lot better suited my body type. And I know Josh Hinger, he, I saw a match where he cut from 190, so he's just a monster, a monster. And so, you know, either I need to put on some serious muscle or only cut down, you know, but gas didn't seem to be too much of an issue, more strength and size. It was ridiculous. Now, let's pretend you're not from 10th Planet. Okay. Okay, let's pretend. Right. But what do you think about the overtime rules of EBI? Eddie's just trying to figure out the best way, and, and he's experimenting with this, and that seems to be going well right now. It, it is hard to find the perfect rule set. Uh, you know, so, so in, for the sake of, uh, you know, experimenting, I, I think it's definitely good, but I think it'll still get polished up as we go. But at least out of the tur this tournament format, there's a finality to things, right? There sometimes it just ends, and the consumer, the audience, the practitioners, they're left in, in a tailspin where it's like, no, we want more. Yeah. Um, so what's next for you post EBI 3? Um, I know uh, ADCC West Coast Trials are coming up. Um, you know, honestly, I I'm such a young guy. I'm, I, I still have... Uh, a long road ahead so I'm in no hurry just just gonna keep doing my thing and trying to get better and uh, you know every, every day just work hard thank you so much man thank appreciate you. it I appreciate, it. I appreciate your fighting thank style you. too thank brother. you very much